Well, the I camera? can't really. With the camera? Yeah. I'm taking them on an adventure. Oh, that's a gun. That was, no, that was barbed wire on my skin. Oh, was it? Yeah. I didn't see that. But I'm on it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Three Mississippi Sid here. Today, we are going to do something a little different. We're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. We've got my friend, Jen here, and uh, we're gonna go explore the creek, see if we can find some arrowheads, maybe catch some tadpoles. And um, as they never have said in Mississippi before, come on, mate, we're going on an adventure. Jen there in the back. Say hi, Jen. Ooh. Hi. Hi. We're in, she's like brought her purse and everything. I'm laughing at her, but we're, we're driving. Pinky's going to drive us down to the creek because we're also going to take Jen on a tour of the pasture later and show her the rest of the property because we didn't do that yesterday. We were busy uh, tooling around, uh, showing, looking at houses that she, she wanted to go see. So we are going to go down to the creek, see what we can find. Frankie's going to be our chauffeur and take us down there. Right, Frank? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, Hopefully we sprayed ourselves down real good. I got my muck boots on. I got my uh, pew pew on my hip and we're ready to go. We're driving out first around the pasture because um, oh, it's dead, dead. Jen has not seen the rest of the property. So we're just doing a quick little drive by this afternoon before we actually go down into the creek. Um, but we're checking on Mike's deer plot back here in the back corner. He's a little behind schedule. <laughs> he hasn't disked it yet, um, but it is all dead. It looks most, it's mostly dead. It's mostly dead. There's a difference between all dead and mostly dead. It's mostly dead. So you can see, it's yeah, there's a little few patches in there that are still alive. Um, looks like you missed a few spots, but it's definitely not all green like that. So there's the hillside there that he's letting grow up. So it's really low right now, guys. The pond, <clears throat> like you can see, it's way low. Like usually, you know, it comes up a lot further, even. When we first moved and it was low, it was still, you know, more to here. But and I'm I'm the only one with true muck boots on, so I'm gonna climb down here a little bit. And then, but you can see it's definitely we were gonna take the po the the pole down here, but my kid some of the fishing stuff and um, climb down here a little bit. My kid some of the fishing stuff and we couldn't find it. Ooh, a little marshy down here, and. Uh, I think we decided we're gonna go try to find tadpoles instead. That's why that that decision was made. But they, Frankie has caught a little bluegill down here one time that they threw back. Um, but yeah, it's definitely low down here. Be careful, guys. I'm wearing work boots. She's wearing dancing boots. So yeah, I'm fine. Jen is ill prepared. She didn't wanna. She didn't wanna. <laughs> yep. I told you it's marshy. <laughs> I told you there was water. Right she there. literally I stuck my foot. In. Yeah, you literally. Her foot just sunk in. Her boot. Her. You she's gonna have to. She's gonna have to change That's her true, jeans after this. Though. I don't know why she didn't tuck them in. You're, you're, I'm wearing hunting. hunting yeah, you're fine, stuff. but. Because I didn't have any jeans there on my wash. <laughs> I still don't know why you didn't wear your muck boots if we're going in the creek. But well, I got my high seas on. I'm ready for action. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the pond looks sad, but I think uh, <clears throat> I think while it's low like this, Mike had mentioned he wanted to go ahead and rake all <laughs> these pine needles out into one spot and then do a little, like maybe pull them all over to that side and do a little burn um, to kind of clean up some of this debris that's in here uh, before he clears out a few of these trees and kind of makes it less of a little, you know, dark spot back here. Yeah, it's really marshy right there. <laughs> oh, I stepped right here. I just stepped full on into the pond. Yeah. All right, kids, onward and upward. All right, we're gonna go find a spot to uh, walk down here into the 
creek so we can kind of show her the creek a little bit and then oh we can show her the, the mud hole let's see how low the mud hole is the other pond it's probably like bone dry we haven't had rain in a little bit we had a little bit of rain for a couple of uh, or for one day rather a couple um a couple inches and then we haven't had any and there's none in the forecast for like the next 10 days let's see how dry this this other watering spot is oh yeah it's bone dry oh yeah it's empty empty guys it is empty empty uh yeah and previous owner said this is this has never happened it's never been empty like this before so that's unfortunate um plus that little levee on our first adventure we took you guys on down here that little levee right there I'll zoom in on it for you right there needs to be fixed um, so that the water doesn't just drain back out. I mean, honestly, you could almost just strike a match and let this all burn out. Yeah, it makes me wonder what the creek looks like right now. Let's go take a look. Okay. It's looking pretty dry. We may not be able to get any tadpoles today. We may have waited too long. We have to wait till there's a good rain. There might be a couple pockets, we'll see. We're gonna go up here to the deer feeder, which is a good spot to cross into the creek and then go adventuring in the creek. Crocky! There's the deer feeder. I don't see no water there's, at all. There's, there's pockets of it. There's pockets, we'll be fine. <laughs> Jen's like, I can do it. Well, I can't really. With the camera? Yeah. I'm taking them on an adventure. Oh, that's a gun. That was, no, that was barbed wire on my skin. Oh, was it? Yeah. I didn't see that. But I'm on it. <laughs> All right, this is the game show. Oh, you know what? They've been, looks like they've been going after the Salt Lake a bit. Oh, or that's the rain that we had nothing to go. Yeah, but it wouldn't, I don't think it would have, yeah, it wouldn't have done it like that. I'm trying to, look at it. Watch for things. Watch for things. Watch for no rope. Yep. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Go. Whoa, okay. See? <laughs> All right, here we are. Hey, look at what I found. A rock. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I found a rock. Good job. <laughs> Good job. You're hired. I have to say that. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, you can tell it's fall right now. There's a lot of leaves. This whole creek bed right now is filled with crunchy crunchies. This has been, what, maybe a month since we came down here last? And the terrain is very different than it was um, a month ago. But all of this right here, this was a little, a little bit of water right through here that had tadpoles and all kinds of stuff in it. I knew we should have made Mike let us catch tadpoles that day. Yeah, I think we We'd have little froggies. Yeah. But it's kind of cool. You can see all the moss. So we're turning around and going back the other direction down the creek bed. We're headed towards uh, the Redneck Riviera, which is over by the big culvert that goes under the county road, uh, because I think that's going to be our best chance for finding some water and maybe being able to find some tadpoles. These two are like distracted by every plant and butterfly. Very well could be. I mean. That is right here. Hold up, we got bones. Bones? bones right here, too. Yeah, it's like a lizard tail. Oh, lizard yeah. Tail. Oh, you know what? That might be snake shedding. No. 
No, this that is might be a snake shedding, yeah. Mom. Where, where where your foot is might be a snake shedding. That's not a snake shedding. There's bones on it. That's, oh, is there? Yeah, that's vertebra. Oh. That must be some sort of giant lizard. <laughs> and then we got like a fish teeth or something. What kind of lizard is that big? Because what you know if what? that came from it? <clears throat> you know what, guys? What? I bet you that's an armadillo. <gasps> oh my, it is an armadillo. It's an armadillo. armadillo. Let me see. Oh, you got part of the skull. Yep. <clears throat> I don't know if this is all from the same. It probably is because look how close it is to each other. Jen, we found something interesting. Look at that. Oh my the leaves off of it. There's jaw bones, two jaw bones. bones so this looks like this might be the skin of the armadillo. I'm gonna put all this together here. We thought maybe oh, it was yeah. a wasp's nest, but after looking at that tail, when I found it over here, I was like, oh, there we go. So we got part of the spine and the tail, some of the jaw and the skull right here. That's pretty cool. We didn't find arrowheads, but we found a dead armadillo. We found the, the remnants of a dead armadillo. Hey, that just proves our point. There is no live armadillos. Only dead That's ones. my theory, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have yet to see a live armadillo in the state of Mississippi. I do not think that they exist. They I caught know. Them? What if this was the same one we caught on the deer trail, Cam? No, this one's been dead. Probably. Oh, wow. Those bones are pretty dried out. But that's pretty cool, guys. I mean, I don't know how fascinating it is, but it's kind of neat. I like it. I thought it was like well, a giant lizard tail or something at first. Well, and I, I mean, thought it was a snake shed. I guess. I didn't see the vertebrae. I guess, kind of. But <laughs> I mean, it's. They kind of look like they could be. You know, with the way their tail is, but it's like a rat and the lizard had a baby. Oh, look at that. Jen just found another mollusk. That's what they're called, mollusks? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like... All the fossilized. No, that's just rocks that are stuck in there. See? Just dirt. But that's another another seashell. You want to take it? Put it in your bag? Hey, Jen. Well, you want to go get it? Go get it. Okay. You want the tail or something? Yeah. yeah. She's like, I'm going to make a toothpick. Let's see. What do you get there? You got the tail and what is that? The skull? The Part skull of the skull. And the jawbone. Oh, okay. Because I used to have that fish jaw. Yeah, you did. That halibut fish jaw that you had? Yep. <laughs> Jason and Jen hold the bag, literally. <laughs> That's your surface. Right. I do love all these cool trees along the creek bed here, where you can really see the roots. Can't tell me there's not little critters living in there. What'd you find? Like like oh yeah, look at that. That is a fossil. <laughs> I think. That holds it too. Really cool, actually. That is cool. It looks like part of the shell, maybe. See, you guys are walking too fast, not paying attention. Well, I'm looking, but I'm looking through the lens of a camera, so sometimes I miss stuff. Uh, it's kind of cool to come down here when there's nothing. I don't think that's a rock, baby girl. That's a rock. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that's a rock. It's just really flat. It's kind of cool with no water down here. You can really see. Whoa, that was a big ticket. What is this, guys? Oh, there's glass down here. Yeah. Like a bottle. Like Did it turn into like sea glass? Kind That's of? what I'm checking. <laughs> Bad lady, come here. Wait, I knew I just heard some water. water? I heard it. It was calling me. Well, let's see. Maybe we can still find some, some tadpoles. Yeah, true. If there's only little bits of water, then it's very true. See if we see anything here. Oh, I'm tadpoles right here. Tadgy tadpoles. Trying not to disturb the water too much until I can see. Oh, there they are. Oh, really? There they are. I just saw a bunch of them. Right in that little alcove is where they were. They all just went this way. They're coming up to the shallows over here. You can probably catch some. I can't tell if they're minnows or tadpoles though. They might just be minnows. They're moving too fast. I think they're. I think they're minnows. See them? Let's see if I can get closer. Come here, little fishies. Yeah, they're all under this little rock. 
all these little rock formations along the edge here. And they keep scooting out, like it's hard to get them, get them on camera. Huh? What'd you find? <gasps> Look at that! Oh, that one's big. That one's yeah. really big. I'm gonna carry this one. That's a big seashell. Dang. I feel like I could eat soup out of this. You probably could. <laughs> it almost looks like a, I mean, I know it's like a big clam or something, but it looks like almost like an abalone shell because right? of the size of it. And we That's had never giant. found a perfect one before. That one's huge. All the That's ones pretty that we big. found so far were all broken. Look, it's bigger in your hand. I know. I know. That's giant. That's pretty good. All right, kids, let's hover to the other pasture so we can show show, uh, show Jen silver. You think that was this this trip down into the creek bed was more of a success because you found more more I found, interesting I found stuff? More stuff? You certainly did. Guys, look at all these acorns. There's a ton in this little area right here. Look at that. Ton of acorns. Huh? I, that's what I said. I told y'all. They took off ahead of me. And then they're like, I think we're lost. I'm like, well, you guys went past it. The exit. But, you know, it's okay. I'll get them back home. Don't worry. <laughs> she just called us slow pokes because she ran up ahead of us, trying to, us trying to go up the hill to climb out of here. <laughs> and we said, we're trying not to break rule number one. Don't die. That's always rule number one. Limbo. 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 All right, let's go look at Silver Pasture. There's go. Are you happy, Frankie? You found some goodies down there in the creek. Uh -huh. Whoop whoop. Yeah, here's the bank. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Except you don't. You don't have the keys. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I got the keys, and I can lock it from here. Yeah? I mean, it's unlocked right now, but... <laughs> I know, I'm totally going to... <laughs> there, it's unlocked now. Yeah, I just unlocked it. I did, look! It blinking, blinking! Here we go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Age before beauty, my dear. <laughs> All right, I'll let you in now. <laughs> Should I make the car alarm go off? <laughs> All right, let's get the truck. Frankie's gonna drive again. <sighs> That's what I do. I'm a driver. Awesome. Take me to France. To France? Why oh, your phone just fell? I don't think I'm qualified. Just trying to, yeah. I'm just, yeah, I'm just Swing it wide so you don't end up in the creek. When you're driving through the culvert. But then you can't. Wait, what? No, he said just don't swing it wide because you'll end up uh, you'll end up in the creek. Ah. Uh, on the other side of the road. Gotcha. Because our creek apparently like runs through there. Through yeah. that culvert. Yeah, there's a little there's a little creekage there. And yeah. you have little trees in there. Definitely a little bit more brown. Not gonna be any hay the Yeah, that was the last cutting for the season, but you can see these trees over here. Can't really see the golden colors kind of starting to pop through as they're starting to change. The larger brown spot there in that back corner is Mike's other deer plot. <clears throat> He's still got his bags of lime sitting over there. He better hop too, but it's looking dead, which is that one I think almost looks more dead than the other side. We just had quite the adventure in the creek, okay. showing Jen the pastures and the creek over here and kind of familiarizing her with our property a little bit and getting to show it off to her for the first time was really fun. I'm glad she's here for a few more days to visit. Uh, hopefully find her a nice place to live this week too. So she will be, uh, be around a lot more often, which would be nice to have my best friend here. Yes. So thanks for hanging out with us here. We appreciate you guys as always. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.